Hello and welcome to the ASUG News Studio at SAP TechEd and Decode. I'm Craig Powers, and today I'm joined by Matt Polikov of CTI. Um, Matt uh, is referred to as an identity geek, I believe is what <laughs> is what I what I overheard earlier. Yes. Uh, so today we're going to talk about, uh, I guess, your favorite topic, identity management. Yep. So identity management. Um, you know, I guess there's probably a lot of people watching right now or, who are not quite sure what that is, so could you give maybe a brief, you know, definition of identity management? Sure, the whole idea of identity management is, is really the ability to take people's information and put it into a, um, into a database for the purposes, especially in, in, in SAP environment, for being able to provision their proper roles and access that they need to be able to use the various SAP modules in an organization. We don't want to give them too little, and we certainly don't want to give them too much. Right. And, and so, IDM winds up being the sheriff in this case, patrolling everything, making sure that we're all set correctly. Great, and so, why, how would a customer use this? Why, why, why would they need it, or why would they need the sheriff? Well, because right now it's a manual process. You know, uh, some, somebody comes into the company, you know, HR, and we, we put everything to HCM, but where does it go after that? How do we get it to all of the various SAP modules? IDM is a central repository for that, right. and we could put little workflows and fun things like that so that we're able to put people exactly where they need to be for their organization, where, where they are in the hierarchy, and where they might be geographically. So is this, is this something that, you know, you mainly think of as a security? Uh, uh, security solution or is it does it go beyond that it, it really does go beyond it because it touches so many different parts of an organization outside of the SAP landscape uh, I mean certainly the, the the prime goal is to be able to make sure that everybody has their correct access right. but we might also do things like put people into active directory uh, enroll them in a badging system uh, or, or other outside applications and so if someone isn't you know doesn't have a, an identity management solution, What's, what's the alternative? A lot of spreadsheets, a lot of emails, and a lot of printed forms. So a lot more? Manual, tedious yeah. uh, steps that are really prone to mistakes. Right. Uh, it, it's tough when you're sitting there typing all day. No, right. Nobody types 100%. Well yeah, man, so less mistakes, so really uh, would you say it's you know a more efficient process? It's much more efficient. And then the other side is the thing that we don't like to talk about too much in the security community, which is audits. Uh, IDM right. has a nice audit database. We're able to just produce whatever reports the auditors want, and then they have all their information, and we do a pretty good job of linking up with GRC as well. And just give me maybe a maybe an example. You don't have to get specific with the customer, obviously, but sure. of, of how how they you know used identity your identity management solution. Uh, again, they they usually use it with the idea of being able to make sure that people are all set up and. What order they might set things up depends on the type of company. Uh, you know, some companies are really hot about getting things into their into their SRM or, or their customer system. Right. Uh, some people are really all big about you know just getting people set up in Active Directory and and, and their their Microsoft Exchange. Uh, you know, a big thing coming up is going to be linking into all the cloud technologies. Right. It's it's all about what the customer wants, and SAP gives us a great framework so that we're able to pretty much plug and play. Any any SAP module, ABAP up or Java. And you mentioned cloud, and you know we, we have about you know forty five seconds or so to go. But uh, security and cloud is so huge. And and how how does you know how how can a company use something like this to maybe alleviate some of those concerns? Well, we're we're just moving into that with the with the next releases of IDM that are going to be coming out late this year and, and early next right. year. But we're going to be using some of the most modern and uh, up to date protocols and technologies to be able to do that without getting into a lot of abbreviations. Right. Uh, but we're going to be well set to be able to connect to any cloud resource and it's something I'm really looking forward to being able to use and, and present to my customers. Great, well I really appreciate you coming on talking about this topic. Thanks. It's an important topic but it's not talked about very often. No it's not. All right, well have a great tech ed. Thank you, thank you very much. And thank you for joining us. For more SAP customer stories, head to asugnews.com.